Anime Yan here. Thank you very much for watching my demo reel. That entire sequence you saw was filmed and edited by yours truly. And oh my gosh, I'm just so proud I was able to do that. The music is not mine, it's Let Go by Ixen. He is a brilliant artist who creates royalty free music, so please check out his SoundCloud in the description below. One thing I will say is that isn't my complete demo reel, it's only one project I created. If you want to skip past me talking about a little bit of background, feel free. I'll put down the time code in the description and on the video about now. Anyway, as for filming, I filmed this entire sequence with this iPad Pro and this Sony A6000. And the funny thing is, I didn't use slow motion. I shot and I shot completely handheld. The reasons for that are I don't have a gimbal or a steady cam, and I didn't know how to shoot slow motion on this Sony A6000, but don't worry, I know how to do so now. However, I also wanted to create a different feeling beyond the norm because slow motion steady shots are quickly becoming the standard. And although there is something to be said about how beautifully that style comes out, I think there is also something to be said for the natural and free-flowing sequences. Furthermore, when I was forced to take away slow motion and all the rest, I had to really think about what shots I wanted to get and also how the quality of those shots to create a coherent experience. But I think you might have a question, which is why did I do that? Well, if you've been on this channel for any length of time, you might see that I'm always looking for ways to improve my content. And I'm looking to take my work to the next level, to become professional. Because I want to give you guys and girls world-class experiences. 
I want to be on the pinnacle of everything. And that doesn't just mean being able to use cameras, but also being more knowledgeable and being able to tell more meaningful stories. So don't worry, this doesn't mean I'm going to stop doing analytical content on anime and manga. Everything is here to stay. Now, there's a little catch in be becoming a professional. To get started in filmmaking, you need to already have started. What this means is you need to get your name out there. You need to know, be known to get employed. But if you're just starting professionally, like me, there's pretty much no way anyone will employ you. So how do you start becoming a professional? Well, you work for free. You do thousands upon thousands of free projects so others know you are capable. And I'm prepared to do that. I'm prepared to work to the bone if that's what I need to do to establish a name for myself. And the key word here is initiative. You need to be willing to go and ask hundreds of companies if you can make a free advertisement. And yes, you'll probably be denied by most of them. But filmmaking is expensive. To ask a professional to film a video for you can take hundreds, if not thousands of dollars, depending upon the scale of the, your project. And that one company that lets you film something for them will allow you to take that step to be much, that much closer towards your goal. And the next time you want to film something, you can say that I've done this project for so-and-so company and before long, people will be seeking you out. You'll be able to work with world-class videographers, improve your equipment, your technique, and from that experience, you'll improve by leaps and bounds. And look, I'm not trying to get ahead of myself. I have a long journey before I get anywhere close to that. And if you look at any famous photographer and videographer, that's how they got started, through hard work and painstakingly long hours. And you know, I'm sending this demo reel to people who I want to employ me. I'm sending this video right here to restaurants, hotels, anyone that I would even have a remote chance of working with because I need work for my portfolio. I mean, I don't think that this video is going to reach millions and millions, but if you're a business, a band, a filmmaker, in the Melbourne region of Victoria, Australia, and you need a video made, just message me on YouTube. Or if you just need a video edited, I would love to work with you for free. And in the end, I'm not doing this for the money, because I hope I can get whatever you might call a less creative job. Maybe an engineer or a financial analyst. I want to be able to make videos without you guys having to pay a cent. What I do want to do is to learn how professionals who do this for a living make art, which leaves me in awe. I'm doing it with experience because I believe the best way for you to learn something is to practice it, to work out all the little obstacles which you never see when you hear about it. I'll tell you right now, I'm not the best, which is probably not the best thing to put on a demo reel advertising for companies. But the professionals I watch on a daily basis are so much better than I am. But I have a passion to learn. And if you're a company watching this, I will help you in any way possible. And I was thinking that I didn't want to make this demo reel on my channel here because I voice my opinions on this channel. And I was thinking of making it a separate channel altogether, but I thought, nah, it's fine. <laughs> because I think that companies would understand. The thing with photographers and professionals is they can't say they're sad. People say that if you're a professional, you should only show your highlights. But I respectfully disagree. I do not think that your YouTube channel, whatever it is, or whatever you're doing should just be your highlights. I don't think that you should go around spreading hatred, but I don't think that you should shy away from it. 
because there's a lot of lot in life which is sad, which is ugly. But this is reality. I don't want to promote false images because a lot of the times I'm sad. I feel like a failure. I feel hopeless. I feel like I'm never going to go get anywhere. And you know what? A lot of the times, what what I say is ugly, but it's honest. I'm not afraid of showing everything that is wrong with my life. And if employers turn me away because of it, I'm okay with that. But I believe that everyone knows that photographers, filmmakers, content creators, professionals are people. They cry. They suffer. A lot of it isn't glorious. It's just painful. And it's okay to say that because I believe that trying to be true to yourself, as true to yourself as possible, will always be the best method. And that's a little pep talk for you guys today. I just want to ask if you guys are okay with seeing advertisements every so often. And I'm not really targeting them at you. And when they're on my channel, I just want them to be learning experiences. I'll try and explain explain how the video shoot went behind the scenes and on the technical aspects, but also from a purely learning perspective, so that everyone, no matter how well versed you are in photography, business. Videography. I want you to be part of that experience. Okay, and a little bit of a side question: Is it weird to take photographs on the street? Hell yeah, it's weird. Like when you take photographs on the street, people look at you when you have a camera, as if you're some kind of spy when you're taking photos and videos. But I think you're asking the wrong question, because do I regret it? Not one bit. Even if I look silly holding up a massive iPad Pro, trying to get footage for a video, it's okay. Because for the opportunity to make art that is truly amazing, I would do anything. If you think looking weird and embarrassing is going to stop me from making videos and amazing photos, you're solely wrong. And okay, that's about it. In a few seconds, I'm going to show the rest of my demo reel. Compiled from my introductions in each of my previous videos, some some of it is my own and some of it is stock footage that I put together. But please do enjoy. So thank you very much for being here. You guys are my life. Anime Yan. Thank you.
Anime Nyan here. The intro, please.